What is up everybody? It is King Kai back again with another in life video. I wanted to talk about something that's been blowing up recently because it deserves every bit of praise it's getting and that is the Demon Slayer series. As the movie came out, the game is coming, season two is on its way. I thought it'd be more than appropriate to talk about the breathing styles and the breathing forms of Demon Slayer and how they can be applied and compared to real life practices. So before we get into it, I want you to go ahead and like the video, tickle my subscribe button really quick and go ahead and leave a comment about what you want to see next and I'll go ahead and try to make a video for it, all right? So Demon Slayer breathing form consists of the water breathing, fire breathing, insect breathing, stone breathing, thunder breathing, all, all kinds of stuff, right? And these are different breathing forms that's used to combat the demons in the world because without it, the demons would probably fold them. If it weren't for these breathing forms, then the Demon Slayer core, the organization of Demon Slayers, would not have gone as far as it has because the demons, the breathing forms that actually help them increase their physical strength um, give them uh, access to an array of different attacks that they can use to slay these demons and cut their heads off. Now the reason why I find this so interesting is because breathing techniques or breathing meditation is actually very prominent in martial art practice. And it's used to reduce stress or reduce the stress hormone called cortisol. It actually helps improve sleep quality, recover faster from physical ailments or let's say physical fatigue. So let's say if you're in the gym and you utilize this, it's going to help very much in getting right back in there and getting back to your set. So, how do we compare this to real life? What is it? How do we do it? How do we get it done? King Kai, please tell me. This breathing technique is called diaphragmatic breathing. And it's when you use the diaphragm that's located like right under the rib cage uh, to breathe rather than like breathing, like taking a little shallow breaths through your chest. The diaphragm is like the biggest uh, muscle that can and assist with oxygen intake. And the more oxygen you're taking in, uh, the more it floods through your bloodstream. And it actually has been shown to help you reduce uh, blood sugar, uh, blood pressure, uh, reduce the pain uh, from headaches, uh, let's say help you relax and go to sleep easier. It's great. I think you guys should give it a shot. So in my case, let's say if I'm in the gym, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the sled push exercise. It's just when you get like an iron sled and you put weights on top of it and you're just pushing it. Right? You're pushing it forward, you're pulling it back, or you're pushing it back to where you started, right? It's very difficult. It's actually a really hard exercise. And when I was doing it, um, after I learned how to diaphragmatic breathe, it actually helps me get back into uh, the sled and go on to my next set a lot easier because trust me this is very very hard when you put all your energy into it it's pretty hard so diaphragmatic breathing can be done either standing up sitting in a chair or sitting on the floor i'm gonna go ahead and pick somewhere that's more comfortable for you we're gonna put our hand on our chest like this and you're gonna put another hand on your stomach like this you're gonna breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth the object is to make sure that your chest is moving as little as possible and you're only using your belly to breathe so when you breathe in you should feel your stomach expand and then breathe out through your mouth. You should feel your stomach contract, okay? All while your chest is not going up and down moving too much. See if I breathe like with my chest, see how like my upper body is like moving up and down? And that's not necessarily what it is. You're only keeping your hand here to make sure your chest is not moving too much. So Doing this for about five to 10 minutes actually will help a lot in the benefits that I uh, included a few minutes ago. Lowering your blood sugar, reducing the pain from headaches, increasing your ability to relax a lot easier. Also increases uh, focus control, all kinds of stuff. It's actually crazy how I'm teaching you how to breathe and that helps, that can help you a whole lot more than just like breathing normally. So it's quick. I don't want to do anything too crazy, right? It's just, it's just breathing. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't know like what else I'm going to tell you about it. So if you guys enjoyed, go ahead, uh, leave a like on the video like I asked in the beginning. Subscribe to the channel. So also leave a comment on the video if you guys have any other suggestions of what you want to see. I'll look into it and I'll make a video about it. And I will see you guys in the next one, alright? Deuces.